headed to any grocery or big box store like Walmart, you're bound to run into a crowd of people stocking up on snacks and supplies so that they can socially isolate. And many of them are also parents who are facing weeks ahead with their children at home. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Starting Monday, schools across the state will close to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Parents are preparing to have their kids home for at least the next three weeks. This, this is the time that parents need to do that one-on-one -on -one talk with their kids. You know what I'm saying? Really get to sit down and talk, pick their brain, and see, see what they think about. For now, daycares will not be forced to close, but Governor DeWine urged parents to start coming up with alternative plans in case they do. When you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I mean, yeah, it's a unwanted expense that doesn't, I mean, but what are you going to do? <laughs> the governor announced Friday the state of Ohio will continue providing meals for families who can't afford the extra expense. Uh, we know that there are some children who really uh, rely uh, pretty much exclusively uh, on that food that they can get from, from school. When and how families can access these take-home meals varies depending on the school district. We're in Huber Heights, so they've already sent out emails saying that the pickup and so they're taking pretty good care of us. It's going to be up to each school, each, uh, but we know from talking to superintendents that they want to do this. Uh, they will continue to have their, their staff and so they will be able to work work that out. Dayton Public Schools is asking for able-bodied volunteers with strong immune systems ages 18 to 50 to volunteer to help distribute these meals. More information is on WDTN.com. For now in Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.